Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. If you guys are new here to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because there are always crazy and insane things happening here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. As you guys seen in the thumbnail, you guys are probably like, what is this video about? So what I want to tell you guys is I've been raising Sulcatas here on the ranch for about 10 years and I've been producing and breeding African Spirithides or Sulcata tortoises on the ranch for about six to seven years. I produce many of them and I have sold them to a lot of different people that I know and made sure they went to the correct homes, etc. So a few months have passed and on July 2nd, I had a crazy, insane creature was born here on the ranch and I had no idea what I made. And as you guys know, Sulcata tortoises are perfectly fine when they hatch out, as in they have a full thing of scales. Let's go show you guys what these babies normally look like, normal African spur thighs look like. Right here, we have about 20 baby African spur thigh Sulcata tortoises. And as you guys can see, these guys are perfectly scooted, perfect little tortoises, all scales, normal coloration. What you guys, the normal average Sulcata tortoise, correct? Well, these right here, I'm feeding them right now some romaine lettuce. And these guys right here were hatched out in the same exact clutch as Avatar. And Avatar is a tortoise that I produced that I have no idea what it is. What I am considering what this tortoise is going to be is a translucent, scaleless sulcata tortoise. Um, Avatar was born July 2nd and has had no problem eating, drinking, using the restroom, doing everything like a normal sulcata tortoise can do. People have been saying that it is a deformity and stuff like that. It probably is, but I do not think it's premature at all. I think it's just a crazy thing that God has made and I got lucky enough and I have this crazy creature. I don't know if it's gonna survive. I hope it survives. Like I said, it's been almost four months now, three to four months now that I've had this crazy looking creature. And I'm about to show you guys this awesome thing that I'm calling Avatar because it's insane. Like it's literally insane. And like you guys, I'm gonna show you one more time. These little guys are just like this. This whole clutch came from the same exact clutch. Everybody is perfectly fine. They're all incubated together. And Avatar was the first one that came out strong, healthy, eating, and completely active. I'm gonna throw you guys back into a few months ago when Avatar and its clutch mates were hatching and you guys are gonna see how bright and blue this creature was when it first hatched out. After that, I'm gonna show you guys how this tortoise has evolved and what it's looking like now. This is the scaleless Sulcata tortoise. Came from this clutch of clutch mates. I do know the female that produced all these eggs. We'll see what happens. So right here, I just got a bunch of romaine lettuce that I cleaned off, rinsed off, and I we're gonna show you how Avatar eats. And like I've said, he's eating without a problem. It's almost three months old now, and I'm gonna show you guys Avatar. All right, you ready, you guys? Throw a little bit of romaine now, and watch, right there. There's Avatar right there, and you're gonna see him come right towards the lettuce in just a sec. This thing is insane. He got a little bit darker, more of a gray color, you could say, but it is insane. He cannot go completely inside of its shell, but he has every single nail on every single toe, leg. Um, this thing is very active. It smells, obviously, as you can see. Look at it, it's about to take its step. It's just scared of the camera. It's very shy. When it sees us, it runs. It can't go in its shell, so it's defensive by running away from us. But this creature is insane, and here he comes right now. Walks perfectly, drinks perfectly. He gets soaked every other day. Look at this, you guys. And as the clip you guys saw before, that was right when he was born. Now he is around, or she is about three months old. Look at this, there he goes. So this is the exact same tortoise as this one, right? Yes, those are the exact same tortoises, you guys. That's its clutch mates right there, and that's Avatar. Avatar is a very shy tortoise, and when it sees us through the window from inside, he literally runs and hides. It's so funny. This thing has so much character and so alert. 
Look at him. I only left two of its clutch mates together so that it has interaction and so that it gets it going for eating all the time. So I think these tortoises, when it's by itself, they're not always, I've, what I've seen from raising tortoises, cicada tortoises for many years, when you have them in a, at least two or three, they do a lot better than just by itself. And as you guys can see, its clutch mates are just going. There he goes, look at that you guys. And that is Avatar right there, eating without an issue. When everybody was saying, when I posted him yesterday, people were saying that he's not eating and everything. He's eating amazingly. He eats romaine lettuce, dandelion greens, and I'm also giving him Missouri tortoise chow. And he is taking it down just like its clutch mates. And it is growing. He has put on some grams. I can't be happier on what I made. I don't know why I didn't make it. Like I said, this thing is growing. It's doing perfect. Let's see where this takes us. Hopefully one day I can get him to a nice size and it can turn into an adult cicada tortoise. I've seen, I've been reading the questions, the answers that people have been asking me and saying, how is it going to survive when it gets to adulthood? I have no idea. No one's made this before. I'm the first one, so I guess I'm going to be the one with the experiment to figure out how I'm going to take care of this tortoise when it gets a lot larger. I'll keep everybody updated on this amazing creature. I'm not saying I'm going to breed it in the future. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know anything. So I'm just, I just wanted to show the world what God has created and what has hatched here on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab him and I'm gonna show you guys a close up of this awesome little guy. This little dude, Avatar, my tortoise, he climbs up on top of here. I haven't got him on video on that, but he climbs up on top of here, he goes back down. This thing is insanely strong, active. I just can't explain the words of it. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Every single time I grab this creature, I don't let nobody touch him. I make sure my hands are always clean when I grab him. And I'm gonna show you guys right now what, like the difference of what these two completely look like. It's insane. Look at this, you guys. It's literally an alien. He looks a little dried up, but he's growing. And when I first saw him, he wasn't like this, but I think this is the way of it grows. Like, look at it. Look at the back. Look how it all is. It's insane. Also, I saw in the comments that people were saying, is the back hard? It is completely solid. There's no shell, there's shell, but there's no scoots. It's all bone, just like the uh, sulcata tortoises. It is completely hard. This thing is solid. It's completely solid all the way around. It has a full on bottom, just like that. Oh, that one peed. Full on bottom, just like that. Like, full beak. Let me show you. Full beak, perfect eyes. The eyes almost glow. I'll show you guys in the sun. Look at his eyes, you guys. Perfect black eyes, just like a normal cicada tortoise. It is completely healthy. All the skin that's flaking off, that's just him growing. He's doing awesome. And as you guys can see, his shell back here, it is all growing. It's all expanding and pushing away and growing perfectly. It's for what this creature is. And it's amazing. There's no sores on it at all. It is completely active, as you guys can see. But it does that right there. You see that? It can't, it can't go in its shell, so what it does is, if you guys ever seen an Avabri tortoise stand up like hydraulics, it's exactly what it does. Look at this little guy, standing up just like little hydraulics on him. It's insane, like, this is a creature right here. I'm gonna show you guys, maybe I can show you guys on video him drinking, I'm gonna show you how he drinks. I always give him pure, purified water. Just opened it and just give him a little bit. Look how nice its shell is. Put it right up to its side, to its neck, and you guys will see, he might start drinking. He drinks without a problem. This thing is insane, you guys. Look at him. Look at this creature, you guys. If you guys are enjoying this video right now, make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up because just looking at it and making this video right now, I'm enjoying it because every single day I look at it, like I've said, I've raised hundreds of baby sulcata tortoises before, and to hatch out something this incredible is mind-blowing. It's literally insane. Yeah. And one thing he does a lot for some reason is this right here, as you guys just saw. Let's see if he does it one more time. He puts his head down into his leg and like scratches his face a little bit. I don't know what that means. I don't know what he's doing, but he does that 
when he's about to use the restroom. So I guess it's like I don't know. It's it. This thing is crazy, you guys. But look at this. Look at look at the structure. Look at the colorations. It's literally translucent, you guys. It is a gray purplish color. When it was born, it was literally blue, blue, like insane. And then look right here. You guys can see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Every single nail, completely white nails, just crazy. Let's put this little dude back with his clutch mates so he can keep on eating and take off and grow and be a star one day. There he goes. Right there, right to the tortoise shell. Wide open mouth, right there into it. Crazy. It's insane. Look at that. Nope. Biting it. Look at that. Missouri right in front of you. Remain right in front of you. This guy chomps down, brings down that food like nothing. Look at that. And that's a full eating, completely active tortoise right there that does everything on its own. Goes in at night just like those guys when the sun goes down and goes right into its hut with the others. It knows exactly what it's doing. Crazy. That's insane. Literally one of its kind. You could Google it. You could look at it everywhere. You know what it's gonna pop up as? Let's use out again my rant because nobody else in the world has this amazing creature right here. And like I've said, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Share it to as many people as you want and make sure you say ranch fam. Ladies out again my ranch. Made this tortoise, produced this tortoise here, and I'm the only one. If you have anybody else that has it, email me and send me a picture because people have said they have one, but I've never seen a picture. I've asked people, no one said they have it. And as of I know of right now, I'm the only one. And I don't think this thing could get any more cuter than that. Look at that face with a whole mouthful of Missouri right in its mouth. Look at that. That thing's adorable. That's insane. That thing is so cute. <laughs> Put him back in there. This is it, you guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Make sure you guys put those post notifications on because if you guys want to see more video of this beautiful, amazing, insane, crazy looking alien avatar, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys in the next video.